that moment when you realize you have mastered your wellness. When you become so resilient, you can conquer any hiccup life throws. Yeah, well, me either. But I still ride unicorns. I'll teach you how to become a mindset master. You will learn how your habits and behavior affect your success in nutrition, exercise, relationships, organization, and so much more. It's your reality, and you need to do it your way. Self-care and self-love are anything but selfish. Take charge. Get excited. If not now, then when? Grab your espresso and get ready to talk all things wellness. It's time for Coach Couch and Coffee Radio with Coach Eddie Wellness right now. Hey, you guys, welcome. It is Coach Couch and Coffee Radio, Transformation Talk Radio, and I'm Coach Peggy. And every Monday, you can join me at 3 p.m. Pacific and 6 p.m. Eastern. I go ahead and fill up my unicorn mug, my favorite one. Today is very colorful. And I fill that up, and we sit on the couch, and we have a good time, and we relax, and we talk all things wellness. Now, your couch might be the car. Your couch might be the bathtub. That would be scary. But your ba- you might be on the, in the bed when you're rewatching. But I want you guys to relax, sit in this, and we talk all things wellness. So how can you get in touch with me? www.3wellnesspillars.com. Check out my blog, sign up for giveaways there, my newsletter. Today, I want you to do something special, except if you're driving. I want you to rewatch the podcast. I want you to take some notes and some questions because this week, you can go ahead and email me at coachpeggy at 3wellness.com and 3wellnesspillars.com. And I want you to tell me what your thoughts are on the show. And I'm going to do a free 30 minute. Um, give away a session with me so I'm so excited I am so going to stop talking about me because I am stoked about my guest today Diane Bertini gorgeous beautiful busy mom Diane has been a um, client with me for about a year a little over a year and I just want to make sure if she's playing the game do you have your coffee mug today I would do. you bring <gasps> what's it say like- I like big mugs and I cannot lie <laughs> that's awesome see why I like her you guys I mean come on so today I just want to give a brief kind of explanation on what this whole is the whole thing is we're going to talk about wellness wagon and we're going to talk about a tool that I developed to keep your wellness wagon wheels on so that's what we're going to chat about just to back up for one second when I got you know when I put this business together there are three wellness pillars nutrition exercise, and a huge one, mindset. And that's the glue in it. Yet everything is in there. It's habits and behavior and relationships, and it's huge. And so when I was putting this together and trying to explain to everybody how, you know, how important that pillar is, I decided to break this one down into 14 dimensions. And so I actually really wanted everybody to see how important it is. So that is what Diane and I are going to chit chat about today. And I'm going to Cat, maybe can you go ahead and show me, pop it up for everybody, the blank wellness wheel. So you guys, this um, this wheel is completely blank. This shows the, if you look in the upper left-hand corner, once it pops up, the nutrition, you can see the exercise, you can see the mindset dimensions, and then all the way around the wheel after the mindset, you're going to see it all broken down into, there are things like purpose, you know, your passion, your creativity, organization, and it just breaks it out so that you can, we're going to work together. We're going to go through this with Diane and try to figure out how we made it beautiful. We kept the rubber on the wheels, the, st- the spokes in there. So hopefully you guys have had a chance to be able to, to see that. And now um, we're going to take that down and we're going to chat about this. Okay. So you guys, When you take a look at that wellness wheel, the big wheel, I want the the main goal is that each person that I work with goes ahead and puts a dot in each dimension. Okay. So in each dimension, the further out you are, the happier, the healthier, the more functional your life is. And when you go closer to that hub, the more areas of improvement. Diane's like, I can teach this, man. I know all about this tool. (laughs) And so as it's further away, it's going to be very, very round. And as it comes in, we're going to talk about what that means. But the 
first thing I want to do, Diane's going to introduce herself. She's going to talk about what she felt like this concept even meant. So the floor is this beautiful blonde's floor. Take it away. Nice. Okay. Well, thanks, Peggy. Um, yes, I am a busy mother of two. I have two tweens, middle schoolers. That's fun. Um, I'm also a really busy career woman. I'm a real estate broker here in beautiful Steamboat Springs, Colorado. And um, uh, much like you, I love to work. And it can take over my wheel. And so I get out of balance, certainly in other areas of my life, because I'm putting so much time into work. Um, but doing this wellness wheel, I'm, a, I'm also a visual learner. So this wellness wheel helped me um, see exactly where I have punctures in my life and where I'm maybe putting a little too much time like my social life. I discovered that by um, filling out the wheel with you and working with you, Peggy. So, yeah. So excited. So the visual, because we do that when we get together with clients, we talk about, you know, we they do a test, whether they're a visual or they're an auditory or kinesthetic learner. So, and that's hard sometimes when I teach virtually and we have groups of 12 women. Diane's been a part of that. And because if everybody's different, I mean, visually, and have some nod offs, and so um, kinesthetics. You guys are doing squats half the time. I'm mm -hmm. to but so this really helped you to be able to print this off and kind of take a look at it. Okay, perfect. That's very good. Okay, so now I want to let's see if we can get Cat to hold up the very first wheel. So the first one Diane actually did last summer. I think it's the June mm -hmm. wheel that you guys will all be taking a look at. And so Diane's going to take us through that um, and just take your time and talk to us about how it felt to try to figure out where your dot went in your wheel, which how you broke down those dimensions, what it revealed. And let's yeah. Well, I had to first do it in pencil, you know, just to kind of get the idea of like where the dots go on each of the 14 um, slices of the wheel. And um, so I did it in pencil and had to do a little couple of erases, but, um, you know, you're supposed to put the dot where like your level of satisfaction is with that particular slice for your life. And, um, I was feeling really good about my social life. So, you know, in my industry, there's lots of happy hours and cocktail parties. And then I live in a town where people come to vacation. So my friends, my clients, whenever people are here, they're on vacation. I'm not, so but they are. And so I'm always getting invi invited to happy hours and things like that. And I was prioritizing those kind of things. And it was... So that that part of your wellness wheel, as we could see, was you were happy. It was out towards the edge. You're done. Okay, take it over. Yes, yes. Um, and, you know, and I kept making these excuses like, well, I'm just so busy. I'm, I'm too busy to exercise. I'm too busy to meal plan. Um, I'm too busy to organize. And you'll see those are areas of my wellness wheel that were totally suffering because I was putting more time into my social life. And that was not leaving me enough time to put into other areas, which are really important, like nutrition and um, my household organization and things like that, finances, um, and my relationship with my hubby. I was, you know, that was kind of lower than my social life. Um, yeah, I noticed when we went through that last summer, I noticed that it kind of just zipped right through the relationship yeah. with, with your, your main squeeze. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, we certainly don't want that if you want a, mm -hmm. a happy home. And I do love my husband. So I was like, okay, this, something's got to give here. And then you'll notice like my career, um, the point on that one is pretty far out there to the edge. Um, and um yeah, you know, I was feeling I was feeling pretty good. I had just come off of a big community theater thing that I do here every year and it fills me up creatively and, you know, as my extracurricular passion. So I was feeling pretty good about that. Um, but I definitely had other areas of my life, areas like exercise and nutrition and health and my relationship with my hubby that were suffering. And by doing by filling out the wellness wheel, I was able to see where I could pull back the reins a little bit. I could pull in that social life some. That meant that I was going to have to start saying no. 
which is okay. I, I need to do that. And I'm happy doing that. Um, and then it gave me more time to focus on organization and nutrition and my time with my hubby. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it was helpful then for mm-hmm. instead of me just saying, hey, the mindset pillar is like so important. That's the glue keeps the other two standing because without the mindset, you're not going to stay on the nutrition wagon, right? You're not going to stay on the exercise, nothing. So it did help you to break that down and go, whoa, opening the mail, an organization makes a difference, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Awesome. That sounds good. So what we did after that, you guys, is we went ahead as a group because there were 12 women in this particular group in the series. It is so helpful to be able to see these and to be able to see how women shift. Because the main thing I want you to understand is everybody, there are hiccups in everybody's life. And this wheel could change from season to season, from Mm -hmm. when school starts, holidays, whatever. So it's really helpful to be able to take a look at where you are in that wheel. And we're going to talk later about some other secrets. So you guys need to completely hang hang in there. Um, So... What was the other one that was the most eye-opening? Can you give me one more other than your social? Um, Let me see here. Well, something that I ended up realizing was that my relationship with my hubby and my finances, those two um, slices of the wheel are actually very closely related because we do our finances together and all of that since we weren't spending much time together and we, and we're busy parents, you know, we, it's very hard for us to have a private conversation (laughs) without children. And, um, and since we weren't prioritizing those things, I was feeling a little out of whack with our finances. I was not as satisfied with that pillar. Um, and it wasn't until I started working on spending a little bit more time with my hubby and things like that, that I realized they were, they both moved they're out so to the edge of the wheel. Yeah, they're connected for sure. Yay. See where I had her on you guys. I mean, come on. It's awesome. All right. So we're going to take a quick break and I want you guys to stay with us. We're going to take a break. And when Diane and I come back, we're going to talk how we transitioned that wheel from last June and we transitioned those dots for happy factor and move those out so she became healthier. We're going to chat about that. And then we're going to talk about a, hopefully we'll have time to show an adolescent wheel that I actually created specifically because of my buddy here, Diane. So I hope to share that with you. So again, you guys, you're listening to Coach Couch and Coffee with me, Coach Peggy, and I'm going to talk to you really soon. discovered the remarkable books at angelhealinghouse.com author claire candy hoff has channeled rare books of inspiration and insight angels of faith is an inspiring story of healing comfort and hope that reminds us that death is not to be feared but embraced with joy one true home behind the veil of forgetfulness takes readers on a roller coaster ride through angel ariel's five most important lives on earth as well as her experiences in the afterlife and helps us remember our own journey across the veil and claire candy's autobiography i am an angelic walk-in which details the 2003 soul exchange that took place when claire candy walked out of her body and angel ariel walked in creating heaven on earth for herself and others to find out more about these wonderful books, visit angelhealinghouse.com today. Hi, I'm Laura Meeks, and the most common problem that my clients face is all work and no play. This is why I created Fly High Living. I help you develop a balanced life plan and guide you to a place where you love to wake up in the morning. Call 888-666-1570 or go to flyhighliving.com to sign up for the four-week Flight Plan for Life course. 
Choose the New Earth on the Cornelia Stephanie Show. Tune in each week on Transformation Talk Radio as Cornelia takes listeners on an odyssey of higher consciousness to inspire, educate, and empower. Cornelia guides people on the path of self-healing, peace, and liberation. The Cornelia Stephanie Show is your catalyst for anchoring heaven on earth on a global scale. For more information, go to CorneliaStephanie.com. Is traditional medicine not working for you? Do you still feel as if your health isn't 100%? Here at the Holistic Medical Center, Dr. Nushin Darvish and the qualified staff look through the dimensions of wellness and start a healing plan prioritized to your needs. Our physicians assess the whole you until complete health is achieved. Get the help you need by visiting drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Hey, everybody, we are back on Coach Couch and Coffee Radio, and I'm Coach Peggy Wilms, and I just want to know, if you're not drinking coffee tonight, because I'm on the East Coast, so it's decaf up in here, and Diane's out there at Mountain Standard Time, hanging out in Steamboat with her little mug, like big mugs, and I cannot lie, oh my gosh, that's so awesome. I just want to remind you about the show. We're going to relax. We have all sorts of topics. Don't hesitate to email me at coachpeggy at threewellnesspillars.com. This week, I'm giving away a free 30-minute session with me. You know, you could become fast friends like the big D and I here. She's just so awesome. Her family's awesome. So, okay, what I would like Kat to do is I'd like her to pop back up. We were talking again, you guys, about the wellness wheel. The wellness wheel is a circular metaphorical wheel that we really want you to keep intact, rolling along so that your wellness wagon just kind of keeps picking and you don't fall off. So the main thing about, let's take a look again at Diane's June 2018 wheel. You guys can see those dots are in very different places. They are not gorgeous circles dot, 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 every dimension totally beautifully aligned. If you look at if when we broke down the mindset and went around her wheel, she has some hiccups. She has some hiccups where her social life is way out here and relationships and organization and things like that are closer to the hub. The closer to the hub and then the further away, those, those are potential punctures, right? Flats. Those are the times where you fall off your wellness and you don't open your mail, and you haven't done your laundry, and you haven't talked to your partner, and you haven't gotten groceries, and you're wearing the same clothes to work the next day because they don't smell. That's not me, but I hear stories. You know I hear all sorts of stories. <laughs> so the, the wheel is back up, Diane. That's your old wheel. So a couple of tips. You and I have talked about in the past the roller coaster of life, and we in my show a couple weeks ago, I mentioned that. Pickups. Stuff happens. Going to have to change your wheel. Take a look at this tool whenever something happens. The other thing we've talked about a lot is trying not to get an A. So we're going to go over that in a second. And we're going to talk about how we all have 168 hours in a week. No more, no less. I talked about that last week. And there's a tool if you guys want to see that podcast on either my um, website, threewellnesspillars.com, or I'm live on Facebook right now or Transformation Talk Radio. So listen, that document tells you where you're spending your time. So when Diane looked at her areas, she she looked at these things. So talk to me. Let's go ahead and, Kat, I want you to do some magic. Put up Diane's brand new life. This is her March wellness wheel. And now the show is all yours, girl. Talk to me about how you're rolling along. Well, I think one of the things that I've learned from you, um, just working with you and is to give myself a little grace. Like, like you said, I was striving for A's in most every area of my life and it's impossible to achieve that. So, um, I just learned to give myself grace and lo and behold, that helped my mindset. And so then I wasn't, I would have this defeatist attitude. Like if, if I don't have time to meal plan and I make a bad decision with my nutrition, then what's the point? 
you know, what's the point? I'm just going to go off the rails. But I've learned from you that I can, I can step back on and get right back in line with that the very next minute. And so I don't let that take me way down anymore. Um, and then some of the things that I did to help adjust my, um, to adjust my wellness wheel is one in the organization category, I hired a, I hired a cleaner. So I have a cleaner come into my house um, once every other week. It is the best money I think I've ever spent. <laughs> my family appreciates it because I'm not yelling at them every weekend and every day. Um, you know, we do a crash course, pick them up before the cleaners come. And it, the house is just, it's different. It feels different for all of us. We've all loved this. And then um, I also took baby steps like you taught us um, to tackle some of my, my mail pile for example, and a pile that I had going in my master bedroom that had been there for, oh, two years. Yeah, it's, that's embarrassing. Um, but I just took one step at a time rather than saying this all needs to be done. So baby steps is what I did. I still have some organization stuff to work on, but I'm feeling much better about that category than I was. Um, and then as I talked about before, my social life, I was putting a lot of time into that. It was, um, you know, I was using it as a stress relief too. And I feel good when I'm around people. I'm a people person. So it was really hard for me to, um, it was really easy for me, I should say, to say yes to everything social, but it was not a good balance for my life. And, um, and it contributed to drinking more than I wanted to. And, um, so I made a conscious effort last year to reel back my drinking. I just knew that that wasn't healthy. And, um, because I made that a goal and I knew that I needed to reel in my social life, those two of course go hand in hand. So, Mm -hmm. um, I, I started saying no a little bit more often, but I also started telling my friends, you know, Hey, this is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm working on me. And so, you know, don't take it personally that I'm not going out. I'm working on me right now. And I'll tell you what, my, my friends ended up going a month without drinking because I was going a month without drinking and things like that. So amazing. Well, I know, I know it's, and it's crazy so what was, what was tied to that alcohol. So for one, my sleep and my health, um, on my previous wheel, those were much closer to the hub than they were to the outside of the wheel. Um, I wasn't sleeping very well. Um, I was having these big dips in energy, like to the point where I was napping at my desk. Like I would just like fall asleep. Um, I really thought that there was something wrong with me. I was having, you know, blood tests done and all this sort of thing. And by stopping drinking and really being aware of that, I discovered that, I think my body has a hard time metabolizing alcohol and that um, it was affecting my sleep and it was affecting the way I felt the next day, even though I wasn't hung up, like I wasn't getting drunk. You know what I mean? It was like a glass of wine or two. Exactly. Um, but those were contributing. Okay. Well, and I, one of the things I want the listeners and everybody watching this to know is that it is all about, I, what I love is not only getting into the real world, but going deep. And you did something, if you can, could just give us a quick second here to show the adolescent wheel. And again, like I had said earlier, you guys, if you get a chance to see this, off of Diane's and my conversation, I like to go deep. So if I talk to the client, I want to talk to the husband and not personally, I want to know that we're making a difference through there. And Diane and I chatted and the adolescent wheel is way different than the adult wheel. There are a few different categories in there. They're not going to be paying the bills necessarily. But when you guys take a look at this, I want you to just see the differences. And what I would like you guys at home to do, again, fill out these wheels, do them for yourself, do them a few months later, maybe have your partner, spouse, friend do it, maybe have your kiddo take a peek at it. and. Email me with any questions, post anything on Facebook um, with some questions, and I can certainly come back. Um, We can answer some on a video, maybe post it up. But Diane, my understanding is you're going to take this wheel and try to put this into place at home and you're ready to rock and roll. And I'm stoked to hear the results of that. So excited. Do you have anything else that you want to share with us today as we get ready to let these listeners go tonight? No, just 
that it's baby steps and you know it's not it's my wheel is not probably not balanced every day and or or every week if i did this every week there would be some things out of whack but overall yeah, yeah for sure and i think that's huge yeah yeah well i'm like so freaking proud of you i really am proud of you you know and the other thing is it's all about being transparent and myself as a coach or yourself helping, um, getting help from family or friends or whatever. Mm -hmm. You guys, we cannot do this unless we're transparent. Nobody needs to be punished or judged. No one is that special. You know how I always say that, right? You're not that special. And why? Because we all have crap. We all have it. And so be transparent. Get the help you need. Housekeeper was gorgeous. So, okay, you guys, I want you to, first of all, thank you. Thank you for joining me tonight. I I'm so grateful that you're here. I want to thank you and I want to thank your family. Stay in touch with me. And you guys, I want to thank you for joining Coach Couch and Coffee tonight and um, reach out to me again, 3wellnesspillars.com. You can email me at coachpeggy at 3wellnesspillars.com. Next week, you are not going to want to miss this. I am talking to Darcy Pariso. She's an animal communicator, intuitive meeting, medium, and Reiki master. We're going to talk. It's springtime. Damn geckos. That's our topic next week. You guys, I want you to have a great week. Give me your thoughts and I will see you really soon. Diane, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening to Coach Couch and Coffee Radio with me, Coach Peggy Wells. Did you hear something that made you go, hmm, or have an aha moment? I live for those. If not, we will get you next time. I will be back every first and third Monday at 3 p.m. Pacific. The tough love you to become smarter, stronger, braver, healthier, and happier. Duh. I will be back with a barrel of positivity, and you never know when a guest might pop in. There is no time for excuses. So don't forget to bring your coffee and an open mind as we talk all things wellness on Coach Couch and Coffee Radio with me, Coach Peggy Wells. Now go grab a ray of sunshine.